Dr. Terry Dubrow is sharing the reason he tried Ozempic. In an interview with Page Six, published on January 19th, the plastic surgeon opens up about testing out the type 2 diabetes medication after it became a trendy weight loss drug, saying, I thought it was amazing. I didn't have that much weight to lose, but I wanted to try it because so many of my patients were on it. I wanted to see what it was like when you're not diabetic and you only have 10 to 15 pounds to lose. Although Dr. Dubrow doesn't disclose how much weight he lost or how long he took the medication, he confirms he's no longer using it. I thought, you know what, I kind of want to get my appetite back and experiencing, quote, low-grade nausea. Despite the doctor's experience, he is still in awe of what the medication is capable of doing, saying, I think it's a miracle, the biggest breakthrough in medical history. But that's not to say he hasn't warned against using the drug in the past. In July, the botched doctor sat down with E! News for an exclusive interview where they discussed the growing popularity of the drug and the jarring side effects. Why do you think Ozempic has become the talking point in Hollywood and this whole weight loss thing? Because it's a mir miracle breakthrough for obesity. And obesity not only is the number one risk factor for cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and cancer, it also is a weight loss breakthrough that you can use if you're five pounds overweight or 50 pounds overweight. And people have to stop making people feel bad about being on these drugs. Stop Ozempic shaming, it's not nice. It's dangerous because people aren't talking about the side effects, so we're not really learning about how to use them in people who aren't that overweight. Are there any other jarring side effects that we'll see down the road for people who are doing this? Pancreatitis. If you go on these Ozempic type drugs and you drink too much, particularly as the dose goes up every four weeks, people who have an innocent amount of alcohol, maybe that two drinks that you would have on a Saturday night, are putting people in the hospital. This is happening all the time. We're not talking about it. We're just learning about it. And the problem with Ozempic shaming is people won't admit to this, so they're not able to teach other people their experience with it.